I don't want anyone to go through this because it is heart tearing. This park is where Greg Sword would take his daughter Camila to when she was a kid. It's also where the 14 year old went the night before she died. Sword says she bought Dilly here, a street term for the prescription opioid hydromorphone. My mom actually found her body at 8 o'clock in the morning. Ah, she was curled up in a fetal position. And then when I got there, the cops were there and they would not allow me to see my daughter until she was in a potty bag. Based on toxicology, the coroner concluded it was cocaine and MDMA that killed Camila. But Sword wonders if hydromorphone, also found in her blood, factored into her death. And I assumed that they were going to do an autopsy, but they didn't. We got a variety of substances which were... This forensic pathologist also isn't convinced by the coroner's report. It could be explained by drug toxicity, but there may be other factors at play that haven't been assessed by virtue of the lack of an autopsy. BC's autopsy rate has fallen dramatically since 1991 to just 3.2% in 2022. It's a scandal. It means that we are unable to identify how and why it is our loved ones have died. The coroner's service says the rate is low because the number of overdoses is high. Alberta has a physician-led medical examiner system. It performed about 2,000 more autopsies than BC in 2022, despite having a smaller population. The man who founded that system says the problem is that BC's coroner's service is run by lawyers, not doctors. It wants, it wants badly for medical direction. BC is currently searching for a new chief coroner, but the province won't say if it will consider someone with more medical expertise. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.